I just want to let you know we, we don't really want this to be such a formal occasion. And what we and, and to facilitate that process because we really want you to interact and connect with our visitors. I'd like to begin with um, the Honorable Commissioner uh, Owaini Wonodi. Uh, uh, Commissioner Wonodi is um, the head of the Ministry of Youth Development. He is also the official point of contact with River State Government in Nigeria uh, regarding all project matters, and he is the leader uh, of this delegation while they are here. Uh, at the same table is Honorable Commissioner Joba West. Um, Mrs. West is Commissioner of the Mission of the Ministry of Women Affairs. And also seated at the same table is the president of River State University of Science and Technology, Professor Fakai. Um, at the table to my immediate uh, left, uh, we have Mrs. Ngozi Benibor, permanent secretary for the Ministry of Women Affairs. Uh, Dr. Anthony Chavwin, Executive Director, Living Earth Foundation. It seems like we're missing a few people. They might have stepped out briefly. Um, so let's go to the table at my far right. Um, Mr. Ibrahima Cham is the uh, Director of Wetlands International Africa Office based in Dakar, Senegal, but serving the entire continent of Africa, including the Niger Delta in Nigeria. And uh, Dr. Orji, Senior Lecturer, River State University of Science and Technology, Faculty of Agriculture. And Mr. Kenneth Nwokoro, a member of the management team for the River State Sustainable Development Agency, uh, focusing particularly on strategy planning and partnerships. Uh, the River State Sustainable Development Agency uh, is the lead uh, agency for agriculture innovation in River State. So um, we have uh, other uh, persons that we will be introducing uh, who are visiting with us, but we'll do that at a later point. I just want to acknowledge uh, Dr. Garner, Dean Director, School of Agriculture, Fisheries, and Human Sciences, and Dr. Edmund Buckner, Associate Dean for Research and Extension, and also co-project directors. And um, entering the room is Dr. Jacqueline McCray, uh, interim Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs. So good to see all of you here this morning. I bring greetings on behalf of the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff to our visitors from West Africa. It is indeed an honor and a great delight to welcome you and to welcome all who are visiting with us this morning, all of you who have assembled from across uh, the university. It is a great pleasure to see all of you here this morning and to welcome you to this um, uh, engagement opportunity with this uh, distinguished delegation from West Africa as part of the phase one of the Mississippi Delta Niger Delta Connection. Uh, <clears throat> it is imperative, as you know, that institutions of higher education in the United States be globally engaged in order to maintain this country's place as a world leader and to maintain higher education's prominence in preparing students for their profession and to be competitive as world citizens. Globally engaged universities must prepare graduates to be active participants in the world in which national boundaries are increasingly permeable. Therefore, it is important that we prepare our students at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff to become globally competent so that they're able to succeed and thrive in this globalized society. We're on the rise to great things at this university. 
Our programs and initiatives are elevating <coughs> to a higher education, including international programs and studies. To be successful personally, intellectually, professionally, these students must become global citizens. Global at interacting in and between multiple cultures and capable of analyzing issues on a global level. General Colin Powell once said, it is important for American students to learn other languages, experience different cultures, develop a broad understanding of global issues. That is exactly what we're preparing our students to do. We have a dynamic faculty here who are dedicated to high quality instruction and student preparation. We have a high quality staff that provides much needed support for those students as we nurture them to their next stages of development. Our global river basin initiative is one of the great ways in which we can accomplish these goals of connecting our students with a more global society. Also, hosting this distinguished delegation from West Africa is another way in which we are proud and honored to provide that kind of forum for our faculty, for our staff, and for our students. Therefore, we welcome you to the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. We hope that you enjoy your stay here, and we hope that if there's any way that we can, anything we can do to make your visit more comfortable, that you would indeed let us know. Welcome to the university. Thank you. Uh, Chancellor, um, I just want to acknowledge we also have another uh, international delegation here participating in a workshop, and I'd like to invite Dr. Day to acknowledge uh, his guests and workshop participants. We're here for like two weeks, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, good, good morning. Um, good morning. My name is Madan Day. I'm from the Department of Aquaculture <coughs> Fisheries. Uh, Thank you. Um, Agriculture Fisheries Center. We are having a two-week-long uh, training program on global seafood modeling, and we have uh, 13 participants and a number of resource persons from different parts of the world. I would like to just acknowledge the presence of the international participants here. Um, I see uh, Dr. Uh, Tosan Frigeni from Nigeria. Um, <laughs> I then see um, Ms. Ruth Pinciento from University of uh, Portsmouth, UK. Um, then I see uh, Dr. Gwen Tran from Wall Fish Center, Malaysia. Um, I see uh, Mr. Mafuzul Haq uh, from Netherlands, doing PhD in Netherlands. Uh, I see um, Dr. Jahan, uh, a scientist, Wall Fish Center, Malaysia. Um, and Dr. Kehar Singh uh, from uh, Canada. Did I miss any of the international participants? Um, and in addition to that, we have several of our own uh, faculty and, and graduate student participating in that, in that training program. Uh, thank you very much for inviting us to this uh, occasion. Thank you. And I see some of our other international students. Raise your hands. OK, so we have some of our international students here also. I'd like to make just a, a, a minor um, modification to the remainder of the program. Having heard from our university president, I think it would be appropriate for us to receive just a few remarks from Professor Fakai, uh, president of the River State uh, University of Science and Technology, and then we'll close with the head of the delegation, the Honorable Wanadi. Um, we are particularly glad to be here. And nice to see the Chancellor. We've been working with um, Dr. Mo, who led a delegation to Nigeria with the Dean of the Faculty, and um, we had actually looked forward to coming over to see 
what this place is like and how we can share the experience. And that's why I like what we have from the Mississippi Delta to the Niger Delta. And we believe that as we continue to get engaged in this study, that definitely will have a lot to share and that definitely will make us better. For us as a university, again, we want to look at the success story of um, the University of Arkansas at uh, Pine Bluff because we have been a university that has been struggling. It's just now that we now found that in webometric ranking, over five years, we found that we could rise from number 76 to number 12 in the country. So we believe that if we continue to get engaged, we'll definitely be moving up to single figures. Like the Chancellor said, one of the things that make the university it's this international interaction, particularly because we are now getting globalized through internet. We are able to compare uh, ourselves in terms of looking at our weaknesses and our strengths. And as we share, we definitely get better and have a better world. Thank you very much. OK. Uh, Commissioner Wanady, may I invite you uh, to the podium? Uh, and we may need a couple of, uh, I think we have a couple of volunteers to assist with the presentation. Okay. Thank you, Pamela. Let me uh, acknowledge uh, the presence of the uh, Vice Chancellor of the University of Arkansas Pine Bluff, Dr. Uh, Alexander. And let me also acknowledge uh, especially the presence of uh, Dr. Ed Bochner and uh, Dr. Ghana. I want to use this opportunity to also say a very big thank you to uh, Dr. Pamela Demore. Having said this, let me once again say a very thank you to the entire the university community here present, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the executive governor of River State, uh, the right Honorable Chibike Rotimi Amechi, and the entire good people of River State, in conjunction with uh, the wetlands of uh, Senegal, I want to most sincerely, with, uh, with a heartfelt, to say uh, that we are very, very delighted to be here today. And uh, we've been enjoying the hospitality of the good people of uh, Arkansas. I want to also say that uh, we are very, very happy to be in your midst. Uh, the purpose of our coming here is well known to each and every one of you. But permit me to say that youths and women are the greatest asset of every nation or any region. And uh, like you all know, it is an incontrovertible fact that they are the leaders of tomorrow. And any nation that doesn't have youth and women, that nation is doomed for extinction. So uh, there is this global role that, you know, that the women and the youth plays. And that is why we have come to this place to see how we can strengthen the, uh, the international relationship on how to bring about uh, the development in our own state, in our country, including West Africa. And I'm glad that you people had given us that opportunity. That is why we are here today. So it, to me, it is indeed a very uh, big pleasure. It is a privilege uh, to be here. So I want to seize this very rare opportunity to ensure that we make maximum utilization of it. Uh, in the course of our visit, we've been able to see one or two places uh, where we have seen some historic uh, projects. And uh, I also believe that when the team that came from the United States of America came to uh, River State during their needs assessment, they were convinced of what they saw. So Mr. Vice Chancellor, I want to thank you very much for believing on your team and also for aiding them to approving the grant that, uh, that we are about to, uh, to sign an MOU for. So let me also say a very big thank you to the federal government of the United States of America for extending that to Nigeria. You know that one of the greatest challenges that mankind has today is uh, insecurity. And uh, when there's no food, you know, there's, there, there, there's usually this panic. You know, there's usually pandemonium. People begin to do all sorts of things you know, to ensure that they get something to eat. But however, I'm glad that today you people have done this for us. And uh, we are going to uh, use this opportunity and ensure that it will, uh, it will roll down and uh, it will be something that will bring about sustainability to both this university 
and uh, the, the West Africa. Having said this, uh, let me use this uh, very rare privilege that has been given to me this morning to make a presentation to the Vice Chancellor himself. Uh, Sorry, the Chancellor. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Yeah, in, in the African context, the President is the Vice Chancellor. So. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Yeah. <laughs> Forgive me. We are, I'm glad that she understands. From where we come from, that's how we address them. <laughs> I'm so sorry, please. I didn't mean to uh, demote you. <laughs> please forgive me. Well, uh, like I said, on behalf of the delegation that has come to the United States of America, uh, with the entire good people of uh, River State in Nigeria, it is my privilege and honor to present uh, to the Chancellor the lapel of the River State government as a symbol to show that we are working together as partners in progress to eradicate poverty, to enhance research, and to bring about sustainability in agriculture and rural development. <laughs> <laughs> so when your team came to Nigeria, they decorated me with the lions, and they gave me this car. I see. And I it's promise nice. that throughout my stay, in uh, Arkansas, especially here in Pine Block, that I will put it on. Even while sleeping, I wore it. And <laughs> <laughs> so, I am so proud. I love money. Yeah, and I'm so proud to be associated with you people. At least when I came in here with the, with the fine serain and the environment that I saw, I said this is a place where any student that comes to this place and doesn't come out with a first class honors, then that student didn't pass through this university. <laughs> so I'm presenting this cap to you so that you can as well Thank you. have this <laughs> and this is a compendium of all that you need to know about River State. For those of you who doesn't know about River State, River State is one of the 36 states of Nigeria. River State is known for her rich cultural heritage. The capital of the state is Port Harcourt, and that is the hub of the oil and gas industry in West Africa. And it will also interest you to know that Port Harcourt, where we all come from, where the state capital is, won the bid, the first black African nation to win the bid for the World Book Capital. UNESCO, UNESCO World Book Capital. Today, Port Harcourt is the UNESCO World Book Capital. So everything that you need to know about uh, River State is contained here in this book. This is the rivers of possibility. Thank so you. I hand it over to you. And I also have a pleasure to give you more of this gift. We couldn't ask for more. Your magnanimity towards us is so awesome that we cannot express it. So I give this unto you. This is also a book from the Niger Delta Environmental Roundtable. It's an African woman can lead. Just like today, you have the African American leading America. So there's, there is a whole lot of transformation coming. So these are all the books to enrich your knowledge and your library. I think maybe you need a trolley well, to carry this. Yeah, yes. <laughs> well, yes. I, I need a, I need a vice chancellor to come and help. <laughs> yeah, Doctor uh, Jacqueline. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Um, thank you very much. I, I think um, it would be nice to come here from a university and as, as, you see, as the president of a university in Nigeria and the university collaborating with um, the University of Arkansas at Fine Bluff, to go away without exchanging a special gift. I think this morning, Chancellor, it is a celebration of PIN of university, or maybe that from River State, but I think I have to make a distinction, because if you want to come, 
I should be your real host okay. in Nigeria. So because of that, give me the pleasure to um, decorate you with a um, prestigious pin of the River State University of Science and Technology. Right, thank you very much. Thank you. Now you are a member of River State University of Science and Technology. <laughs> and then um, here, just um, a video, and then maybe what to use to decorate your dress. That's what oh. I'm oh, thank oh. you. From UST. Thank you. Wow, well, thank, thank you, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. And the Honorable Commissioner just informed me that um, you all will not be able to leave without a little gift from him, in addition to the postcards. Everybody get a postcard? Uh, uh, if, raise your hand if you didn't get a postcard so that we can make sure um, you get your personally autographed postcard. <clears throat> but there's one last presentation. And uh, let's see, uh, Mrs. Brown and um, Ms. Fukui, uh, we, we may need your assistance. Sarita, we might also need your assistance with this. As you can see, our delegation loves to take pictures. So we were at the Clinton School of Public Service yesterday, and uh, it was a great struggle. Uh, multiple pictures going in, uh, multiple pictures going out, group pictures, pictures by the flag. Okay, yes, uh -huh. okay. Um, on behalf of the uh, West African delegations that are here, we have the pleasure and honor to present to you our own lapel as a sign and as a mark of our honor to show that uh, we are all working together as partners in progress. So we will pin you this so that wherever you go, you continue to preach the good news that uh, there's a delegation from the Niger Delta comprising of the wetlands of the Senegal and the people from River State that we did visit your university and that's why you have our appeal just like we are also carrying yours this this concludes the formal part of our program i'm going to invite daniel to entertain us with some more music and you're welcome to stay a little while and interact and mingle and we still have some food in the back and thank you so much for coming out this morning <laughs>